WRS. That is the Lightning Man, Ryan Shanahan. He'll start inside room two. Outside him, that'll be Remington Ham in the 57 age. Gavin Isley's number 18, and Brian Hudson, the number six, are in row number three. Row number four, that'll be the 131 of Mike Fairbanks. Outside him will be Kevin Warren in the number eight machine. And going shotgun on the field, driver the number one, that is Dave Rogers. Four cars will go to the redraw here tonight for the Brandon Hagen Tribute Race. Top four cars will go to the redraw. Down into turn number three and four, first of three qualifying heats for the Sportsman Division. Green flag is in the air.
Steve is kids getting better every week. Well, Dalton Rumble's precision seal coating number 41 out of Lava looks to be your early leader. Now for you, Dr. Hutchman. Now, Jack, contract and service number 91 of Josh Rion jumps up into spot number two, side by side, down behind him, Greg Henry, bottom of the speedway, Frank Sibley to the outside, they'll drag race down into turn number three. Henry to the bottom of the racetrack, Sibley working the outside as they work off turn at number four. Off turn number four, down the front steps, that's the way they will go. Henry goes to the inside of the racetrack, and then Frank Sibley does the next spot. Here comes Tyler Stevens at the box 28. He'll look to the inside, turn number two, down the back stretch, they will go. Stevenson had a nose underneath, now Sibley runs right up to the Corcoran 
a lot of damage to the left side of that car from our view here. Yeah, that thing is see. tore up real bad on this side. It's got a bunch of sheet metal. You may have actually got into the header uh, on the motor as well. We'll have to wait until they get that car back towards the pit area to see what needs to be done to I don't think that, you better get check. that taken care of. I felt some air. Yes. Right. I think it was John. What the hell they feed you today? Huh? I don't know you better not. Oh. Ah, damn, Fred. Well, after a crazy melee like that, ladies and gentlemen, all drivers are okay. Oh, wonderful. Hate to see that happen before we even got a lap score yeah, here. There was no start. As you said, huh? a couple of cars got together going down into turn number two, and that collected a couple of more cars. The reason for our red flag here, third and final qualifying heat for the Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sportsman Division. Somebody walking back. Driver? Yeah. Yep. Seem to help with it. I'm going home. Getting a great shot on the video here from Mike Fraser rooftop, and it does look like a lot of damage to the front end of the Trevor Gibbons number 621, the Sabano Pizza right rear ride, as he is sitting right down on the speedway, nose of the car sitting right flat on the ground, a lot of sheet metal damage to the rear side of the car. Said we've got a lot of people involved with our Brandon Hagen tribute race later on tonight. A lot of people wanted to jump on board, sponsor last year, give out some prize money as well. Here is that list of people helping with the Brandon Hagen tribute race here this evening. These are guys and companies, guys and girls, I should say, and companies that got involved to help us sponsor our race here tonight. Dave Rogers from Lakeside Outdoor Property Services, number one race team, the Dirt Car Sportsman. Rusty Johnson Masonry, Drew's Excavating, Stephen J. Hall Custom Builders, Tiger Chapman, Ed Nyer, Mike Doxander Contracting, Dan Side, SLR Performance Films, LLC, Justin Burns and the 11J Race Team in the Thunderstocks, PTL Construction, Cappy's Auto Body, The Sports Page and Theresa, Michael Clare, our starter here, OJ White, the Big M in Alexandria Bay, J. Cade's Roadhouse, Riley and Sydney, oh. the Ham Family and the 57H huh. Race Team, First North one Star the... Diner, huh? Anthony First one coming up. Yeah. Motorsports, the Nyer Family, the number 34 Racing Team, Dirt Car Sportsman and Kart Teams, Chris Higgins, oh, John Higgins, and him Zach Moore, yeah. J.R. Welling Enterprises, Tony Frezzo and TNT Property Services and the number 22 Thunderstock team. Cheney Tire. He's Lindsay done Bartlett, for the night. 24 K. Dr. James Key. Nathan's Excavating. Greg Smith, Sonoco VP Race Fuels. Brandon's grandmother, Joyce Hagen. Cavalario's Pizza. Amy Sanford. Jeff Shannon and KDM Customs. Route 37 Building Supply, Jeremy Beckwith with RKW and Jiffy Dumpsters, Evan Gackler, Ryan Reynolds, and Ryan Gackler. Got to thank oh, all of them up there yet? for sponsoring yeah. and throwing money, extra money oh, there at our cars? Brandon Hagen yep. tribute race here tonight for the Sportsman Division. Oh, I wish they'd tell us who he was. There 
why he hit us. They talk about Brandon Hagen, said the, a man who lost his life way too young. Was a great racer, a great competitor here at Canyon Speedway in our sportsman division. A very well liked young man, as uh, evidenced by all the racers that have been involved with this tribute here tonight. He was a solid competitor, but also one of those guys that helped everybody else out in the pit area. He got along with just about everybody. Here's just a little bit of a recap of uh, Brandon's racing career. He started at nine years old. I think it was nine. He started at 12 years old in a go-kart. Started karts at 12 years old. That was in 2005. And then he spent three years in the karts. He won over 40 races. In his third year, he obtained the championship <laughs> in his class here at the Canyon Speedway. In 2007, that same year, he started racing on the big track in a mini mod car. He won nine races out of 11 starts. In 2008, he entered the sportsman class here at Can-Am. He was 15 and placed eighth in his first race. The following week, he won his first sportsman race ever, passing the leader on the last lap, his second time in a sportsman car. He had two wins in his very first year, and he earned a Rookie of the Year in the Sportsman Division. I was watching Dale Earnhardt Jr. there. From 2009 to 2014, Brandon continued to race in the Sportsman Division he has a for the next sheet. Six years so, from a 2009 to all the old abandoned race In 2012, on September 15, 2012, Can-Am held a farewell event to the end of the season. This was a special day as Paisley made her first trip to the races. Brandon won the race, and Paisley made her first appearance in Victory Lane, wrapped in a pink blanket. In 2012, Brandon was able to capture the Sportsman Championship. During the season, he had 10 feature wins with at least 17 starts that year. In 2013, Brandon defended his championship here and was named Sportsman Track Champion for a second year in a row. In 2014, Brandon won the season over at Can-Am Speedway. His overall Sportsman Division stats, 25 career feature wins here at the Can-Am Speedway, three feature wins at Mohawk International Racetrack. So you can see a pretty stellar career for the young man, Brandon Hagen. I guess they messed the car up over there. Yeah. Representing Can-Am all of those years ago. Well, what the hell they're doing down there now? There's so cars up on this. I don't know. Must be. Everything's oh. across there. Must be. There's three cars that went over. Yeah. Must be one out in the fields there somewhere. Good. Here he comes. So the car is beginning to roll once again, and we are going to bring them around the speed. We roll them up top a couple of times around the outside of the racetrack before we get ready to go back to green flag racing with our third and final qualifying heat for 